This video will provide information regarding plants' responses to light, a critical environmental factor for plant success, and the role of photoreceptors in mediating these responses. All of the responses to light by plants are known as photomorphogenesis. This includes all aspects of growth and development that are initiated or influenced by light. Depending on the light wavelength, plants will respond differently. To know what wavelength drives a particular process, the action spectrum graph needs to be observed. This graph shows the profiles of the relative effectiveness of different wavelengths. For example, at a 436 nanometer wavelength, a specific response is triggered, increasing its effectiveness. In plants, the molecules that receive light are known as photoreceptors or pigments, such as the famous chlorophyll. The two major classes of photoreceptors are blue light receptors and phytochromes. The blue light photoreceptors, as the name implies, are activated upon exposure to blue light. This specific wavelength has been shown to induce phototropism, which is defined as growth or movement towards light sources. The opening of stomata, mediated by a protein kinase known as phototropin, and the slowing of hypocotyl elongation by cryptochromes, which are molecular relatives of DNA repair enzymes. Notice in the spectrum how responses only occur for blue light, which covers different wavelengths of blue and purple colors. The more intense the blue light, the stronger the response, whereas responses are weaker as light moves away from the blue spectrum. Phytochrome photoreceptors are responsible for regulating many responses upon exposure to light, such as germination and shade avoidance. In terms of seed germination, we have to pay special attention to red light and far red light and the specific receptors for each wavelength. First, let us be clear that responses to red and far red light are photoreversible, meaning that the responses to one wavelength can be reversed by exposing the plants to the other wavelength. Upon photoreceptor synthesis, the red absorbing form of a phytochrome or PR absorbs red light. This is then converted to the far absorbing form or PFR, which absorbs far red light. In the PR form, seed germination is stimulated. That is why red light initiates the stimulus by converting the phytochrome PR to PFR. Similarly to seed germination, phytochromes control shade avoidance, but in this case, it is important to consider the red to far red light ratio, as plants will be unavoidably exposed to both wavelengths during daylight. In normal conditions, the red to far red ratio is high, meaning there is plenty of red light available so that the response is to grow branches. In shaded conditions, for example, if a tree is starting to grow in a forest and many older trees cause it to receive less sunlight, most of the light captured by this tree will be in the far red spectrum and the phytochrome will shift to the PR form, causing the tree to allocate more resources to grow taller in search for more sunlight. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in this video will be true no matter what biology class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Images and diagrams are from Campbell's Biology 11th edition unless otherwise stated. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services in our tutoring center, which is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You will find all of the details you need to know about these services in our website, which is www.baylor.edu forward slash tutoring. You can schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For many information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.